Tally Home, my name is King Shosh and welcome to Final Fantasy XIV. Now this might be a shock to some of you because this is not usually the kind of game that I would play on this channel. However, I will completely admit right now, I do have new in the thumbnail. I am pretty much new to this. I'm still a sprout. I'm st I don't have any idea what the, uh, the story is, but, uh, I have a level 60 character, just saying. Um, but <laughs> so I have played a little bit of this game. But I don't really know any of the story for A Realm Reborn because I did basically just skip all the cutscenes, I'm not going to lie. So I am actually going to be experiencing the story for the first time properly here. Um, but the Final Fantasy XIV bug has bit me. There's still a lot of stuff I need to learn, a lot of stuff I don't understand. I'm not really an MMO kind of person, so please bear with me if I seem clueless on anything that's going on or how to play anything in this game. I don't tend to play these kinds of games. I'm also going to say straight away, I cannot promise that I will play every single part of this game. I cannot promise that it's going to be back to back to back to back to back to back to back episodes of this as well. This is going to be probably just a, a series when I feel like playing this, I'll jump in because there's a lot of other story games, a lot of things that I need to get to uh, playing. I'm still playing Persona 3 Reload, for example, so I need to keep up with that. So there's still possibly more Infinite Well side content to come as well. Um, so I just want to make that clear that this is going to be almost like a little passion series for me. I'm, I'm going to play this when I feel like playing it. I don't want to put any promises or anything out there to say I'm absolutely going to be playing this like absolute crazy and I'm going to be playing it all the time and it's going to be so crazy. Um, I just want to make that clear. But anyway, let us get into this game. Now, I'm actually going to be really boring here. You've got all these cool races like the Ellison. Ellison women are really fucking hot, just saying. Um, there's Lalafell, these little tiny ones that are, are, pr are pretty pretty funny. Um, and you got like, and, and cute stuff. You got like the, the cat people, the Mikote. Mikote cat girls look pretty cool. Rugged in mummies, 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 mummy, sorry, mummy, sorry. Um, which are pretty cool. Giant versions, there's the Aura, which are kind of like dragon people, I guess. Feel free to let me know if I'm wrong on that. I'm, I'm, I am I'm, don't know anything about the races and stuff in this game. I just know what I see. And these look like dragon people, and they're pretty cool. And then if you have Shadowbringers, which I'm playing this on Xbox, by the way. So I'm in the Xbox beta right now. Um, fucking beta. Anyway. So some of the expansions are not available just yet, but I do plan on checking them out at some point. So you get like lion people, there's female lion people coming in the new expansion, Dawn Trail that's coming out. And then you've got hot, 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 uh! you've got the buddy people that are hot as hell. I really want one so fucking bad, like you don't know. I want I want to be a bunny girl so bad, but I don't have Shadowbringers, so I can't do that. And it's not available on Xbox right now anyway. So God fucking damn it. Um, so I'm going to be really boring and make myself in the game, because I don't tend to do that. But I feel like with an MMO, I should probably represent myself. You know, you can make characters, and I have made characters, but I feel like for this series, I'm going to represent myself. So, I'm just going to switch the uh, the background real quick, which is something you can do, just to make the lighting a little bit a, li a little bit better, I guess. Alright, cool. Um, I'd probably be a midlander, I imagine. Uh -huh. I'm a bit more on the shorter side, so I'm going to go like 35. Uh, I'm not muscular at all. <laughs> like, not at all. Smooth. I'm smooth as anything. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to get the face right. But, oh my god. It's perfect. That's me. Look. That's me. <laughs> Maybe this one? I kind of like that one, actually. Me when I'm sad. Me when I'm confused. Me when I'm looking smug. I'm going to go this one. You have to pick particular faces, so it's not going to be perfect. This is just a representation of me. Uh... I think I'm, I have a bit of colour to me. I mean, the camera right now has a bit higher contrast and saturation, so... I'm holding my hand up to try and match the skin tone, but it's not quite working. Maybe, maybe I'll just go with this one. I, I feel like I have a little bit of colour to me. Um, I kind of need, right now, like a bit of a longer style. That could be kind of cool, but like, you know, that, that's not me, but... In the game, it could be me, you know? It could be. I feel like one of these would kind of suit how I look, but my current appearance. The only problem is if I ever have a haircut, if I get my haircut shot, which I am planning on doing at some point, I probably have to switch to something like this. Oh, but that's cool. I look sexy as hell. 
unlike in real life. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Um, what could I have? This one is kind of me. It is kind of me. My hair is a little bit more back, but when I have, like, my headphones off, like, it kind of has, like, a bit of a bit a bit of a back thing. That 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 is kind of me, but I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. It looks kind of weird. I'm not I'm not keen on that one. Like I, I want it to be me, but I also kind of want to look cool at the same time, you know? Maybe something like this because like when I have like my headphones off, I do kind of like to have a bit of like a, a a bit of a side bit going on. It's not quite down like that. So that could be kind of cool. I'll pick that for now. I'll, I'll highlight that for now. Um, oh, there's only a couple more styles to look at anyway. Why does this kind of remind me of Noctis a little bit from Final Fantasy XV? I know it's not Noctis, but, you know, kind of reminds me. Yeah, I think I'll go with this. And I have, like, a kind of a, a, a darkish brown. I feel like this color is already perfect, to be honest. But, uh, hmm... Maybe that one. A bit a bit less red in the in the brown. You know? Alright, yeah, that'll be fine. Um what's this? Oh jaw. I What shape jaw do I have? I don't even know. I don't even know. I'll just stick with three. Eye shape, huh? Uh zoom in a little bit. One second. It's not good to look. In, it's not a good way to look at my eyes because I'm stretched. But I'm trying to get an idea of what my eyes look like. I have no idea. Maybe this. I look like I've seen some shit. <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh, I think mine are kind of small. I also have brown eyes as well, so I'll just like try and match that. Uh, eyebrows. I have no idea. Do I have angry looking eyebrows? I'm trying to make my face as plain as possible. Mine are kind of curvy, I think. So maybe sticking with two is the best course of action. Uh, nose. Well, I have a giant nose, unfortunately. Thank you, father. I appreciate that. Not. Kind of, kind of like curves down a bit, I guess. Uh, I need a mirror. What the hell is my webcam? Hmm. It has a bit of a curve to it, I feel like. None of these noses have a curve! <laughs> Fuck, okay, uh, four. That's fine, I guess. Um, mouth. I have kind of small, thin lips, I'd say. Yeah, three is probably, pro three is probably correct. Lip color. Well, obviously I'm gonna put some lipstick on! No, um, I don't know. I feel like my, my my lips are kind of pinkish, a little bit. A little bit pinkish. Not that pink, Jesus. Uh, maybe I'll just go with that. Sure. I feel like I have lipstick on, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, I do tend to have a little bit of the of the old facial hair going on. Not like that though, but whatever. Actually, no, I kind of do, but I don't like it. Screw it, I'm fine with that as it is. I do have a scar on my head, like up here somewhere, but there's no option for that, so that's fine. I can have these like cool tattoos though if I wanted to. I don't really want them though. It's a bit. I, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of of characters looking a little bit too over the top, with like tat like coloured tattoos and like glowing bits all over the face or whatever. Why am I selecting a colour for the tattoo when I don't have colour for a tat? Oh hell yeah! Can I have some fucking eyeshadow? Let's go. One second. I'm just changing the color so I can look at things a bit more. Love heart. Stars and sparkle. I wish I could move my character to the left a little bit because this menu is kind of in the way. Meow. A little, little choker bar. I can have like some cool little kind of markings that are pretty cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm a raccoon. Let's go. Little dots. Oh my god. That is thick as hell. I don't know if I want any of these. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the biggest fan of making my characters look like 
really silly and having like all these like, like butterfly on my cheek. It's just a little bit weird for me. For me personally. If you like to do that, you do you. It's not my kind of thing. Hmm. I think I just like it as it is. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, voices. Uh, how do I... Oh. Ah. Hello. Ah. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> ah, la, 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 la. Ha, ha, ha. Nah, that's not me. Ha, ha! <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I think I've ever done on this channel. <laughs> oh, that is not me at all. Okay. This dude is slightly evil. I kind of like this one. Uh-uh. Alright, close enough, I guess. Uh, I think that's everything. Uh, save appearance data. I have all the characters as well, but they're all very low level. Uh, Ocean. It's me. I'm the problem, it's me. Um, I'm not gonna use my actual birthday, because I'd rather not have y'all know that. <laughs> I don't care, I'm just gonna go for the 1st of January, I guess. Why the hell not? Um... Oh god, I do wish, one thing I don't like with this game, I wish you could have like, uh, like a drop shadow or something like that, a shadow for the text, because some of it really blends in and it's like really hard to read. Like hurts my eyes trying to read stuff in this game. Uh, one of them is the god of water, or something. Element of water, uh, the element of wind, uh, is there another one for water? Uh, I guess he commands the element of water. Sure. His symbol is the scroll, the third moon of the Aussian calendar. Is the one that's like something to do with fish? <laughs> uh, celestial bodies and goddess of fate. Damn, that's cool. Ruler of rivers and wisdom. Oh, that is not me at all. Uh, of love, uh, glaciers and goddess of war. Navigation, limps, uh, the watcher of the seas. Maybe I should pick that one. That one makes sense. Oh, but that one says Oshon. That sounds like my name. Okay, I want that. <laughs> Oshon. Why are the disciples of war and magic so fucking bright right now? God, that hurts my eyes. If you can't tell, there's like 85 million things on the screen at all times. So I have no idea what to do with my face cam. I just want to make that clear. So there's Pugilist. Marauder, Lancer, which is pretty cool, Archer, and my main character, I'm actually playing Arcanist, so I don't want to play that one again. Uh, Formatage, Arturge, uh, Turd, whatever that is, is like dark magic. Uh, Conjurer. One of the cool things, though, is if you've never played this game before, you can actually have all of these classes. I can play as all of them on a single character, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know what to pick, you know. I'm tempted by Gladiator, but I feel like that's basic bitch territory. <laughs> but I don't know, I kind of want to be like a cool knight. I think I'll go Gladiator, which means I start in Uldar. Because if you can't tell, once again, if you've never played this, if you look at the bottom left, Limsa, Gridania, Uldar, if I pick these classes, I start in those locations. Limsa's my personal favorite. I love that place. It's so beautiful. Uh, you selected Alpha. Mmm! No, because I... Oh, god damn it. I can't slip my normal server. Oh, that, that's lame. All right, I'll, I'll be alpha as fuck then, I guess. Which also means I get XP bonuses, which is fantastic. All right, for name. I'm not going to use my proper real name, but I am going to have my first name in there. Uh, what if I have Ocean Kingfish? Can I do that? I want that. Ocean Kingfish. Yes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes! I got the name! Ocean Kingfish. Ready for duty. 
Yes. Yes. My crown is glowing right now. Or I just had a fantastic idea. Now I gotta wait in a server queue. <laughs> Online games, y'all, this is how it works. But luckily these server queues are actually really, really quick, which is very nice. Okay, cool, I'm in. I just paused the, uh, the video briefly so you didn't have to fucking wait with me. <laughs> also, some of the cutscenes like this one, I believe, are voiced, some of them aren't, so that's gonna be a, a thing to get used to. It me. I'm the problem. It me. We under the sea. The crystal sea. Or whatever yeah. I'm in. Here, here. I've got earrings on, hell yeah. Here. Feel. Uh, what? Hmm? Is, is that not what you meant? The sun! Oh. Flamey orb, orb of death. Smite me down with your heat, because I'm cold right now. Oh, Jesus, that was almost like a jump scare. What the fuck? <laughs> Actually made me jump a little bit. What the hell? You red mask devil looking yeah. son of a bitch. Hurt and heal. Bray Wyatt's theme. I'm Super Saiyan! So, I don't get this gear at the start of the game. I look cool as hell though. I need that crown forever. Whoa. Is that fucking Excalibur or something? Ah! It's weird that I get to fight the final boss right now. How strange is that? Well, I guess the game's over. Short game, but pretty cool. Um, I kind of wish there was more gameplay to this game. Uh, it would have been really nice if I actually had more that I could actually... Oh, I guess it's not over. Hey! Hey, you! Wake up, you, you bum! Ugh, where am I? You are right, lad? Oh, you are right, lad? You were mourning something fierce for a while there. You were like... Ugh. Why did I do that? <laughs> Feeling the effects of the ether, I reckon. You'll get used to it, though. Don't worry. Ah. Oh, those flowers are so pretty. I love blue flowers. Oh, this music's good. Damn. You there! Halt! Joseph! You're looking the wrong way! You're looking the wrong way! That mask, it's clouding you! They're, they're the other way! Oh, uh, my bad. I can't see a thing! What's this all about? I'm Chocobo in here! Inspection! Men, search the cottage! Well, I know two of those people. I like their character designs. I'm just an honest peddler, friend. So, uh, don't be too disappointed if you don't find nothing, eh? Most are from Canada, somehow. Mind your tongue, old man, lest I cut it out. I don't know if I'm good at doing voices, but I like doing them anyway. Sir, look, Somnus. Somnus? Isn't that a song from Final Fantasy XV? I have played that game. I enjoyed that game, kind of. Honest peddler, was it? Since when do honest peddlers deal in prohibited herbs? You're in a lot of trouble, old man. You'll rot in a dungeon till the end of your days. Unless you can afford the fine. Grease my palm with silvers free. Heh. <laughs> Business as usual. No! Oh. Ugh! I almost took an arrow to the knee! How the fuck do you pronounce that? Amalja! Amalja! Two arms! Two arms! But what about legs? Uh-oh. Big beast man. Seven hells. Consider this a warning. Now go, all of you. 
Although those two in, in the carriage just do not look phased at all. They're like, yeah, whatever. We're sleeping, leave us alone. Rawr. Attack. He has such a strong jaw, like Christ. Almost like a Giga Chad jaw or something. Whew, that kind of excitement ain't good for the heart. You be careful around them brass blades, lad. Bastards will have the shirt off your back if they fancy it. They really do fancy it. They have a really weird kink for shirts. It's kind of strange. Like common bandits they are, only less honest. Thank the gods for sending some beast men to the rescue, eh? <laughs> hey, seems we've still got a long road ahead. You mind keeping me company till we arrive? That's all cool. Them young'uns don't much care for conversation, see. Well, I'll have you know I'm asleep, and my partner here is currently wondering if they left the stove on at home. Prince the name, and peddling's me trade. Why is this music so emotional? I feel like I just got told that a character died. You know, no, not them. They were too young. You know. Judging by your unusual garments, I'll wager you're one of them adventurers. I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows. Whew. Whoa. Seeking fortune and glory. Well, that's what I call a living. 26. It's got Taylor Swift on that album. As long as you can avoid dying, I mean. You don't want to dye your clothes, do you? <laughs> ah, that's just uh, it's a, it's a joke. It's, uh, it's a, Anyway. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business. These days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? The boobies. I mean, what? Hmm? Um, to a massive fortune, I guess. Da 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 da. Fortune, eh? <laughs> I reckon you'll fit right in where you're going. Oh, where we're going? To the grave. Once you've learned to handle yourself in a fight, you'll want to pay a visit to whichever crafting or gathering guild tickles your fancy and tickles your balls. And there, there'll be plenty to choose from, whether it be weaving a ca alchemy. With, uh, Edward Elric. Forgot his name for a second there. <laughs> uh, goldsmithing or mining that inter in interests you. Although it's got a place where you can learn your trade. Adventuring ain't just about killing things after all. Peaceful pastime may well help you make your fortune. Although I am well aware that from what I can tell, some of those jobs are not really possible unless you uh, subscribe to the game and not on the free trial. So that kind of sucks a little bit. Just remember though, there are more things more there are more thing there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. <gasps> Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. By the by, is this your first trip to Ulda? No, technically. Well I should have said yes just in case, but oh well. But of course it ain't. <laughs> Still. Might as well this journey itinerant have a few new things to teach you about your destination. <coughs> Sorry, I had a tickle in my throat. Uldar's ruled by the Sultana in name. She's a raisin, you see. But as most folk know, the Syndicate holds all the real power. That's Evie and Jacob Fry from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Gotta love that Evie Fry. She's really quite something, huh? Them and their monetarist cronies would happily get rid of her grace altogether. That won't happen while she still commands the loyalty of the royalists. And the royalists are nothing if not loyal. These factions have long fought over power, throwing the weight of their wealth against each other, and they show no sign of stopping. Or stepping, for that matter. They're not boxers, you see. Of course, the lizard men, that's the amalgia to you. Couldn't care less about old on politics. They have their own interests, see. And they ain't afraid to use force to serve them. They say war is a gift to peddlers. Need breeding profit. I don't like you calling it that, but whatever. <laughs> Though it shames me to say it. I'm inclined to agree. Uh, what's that? Oh, uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, oh, uh. Ah, long last. Behold, old on. Jewel of Fanalan. A final land. Do, 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 do. A final land. Do, 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 do. When folk turn sand into gold, I wish that was true. 
Because I would be scooping it with my fucking shirt right now, just like Deep in the sun baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary a beautiful rose um, I mean. amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance. Her name, Ulda. I wish this looked a little bit sunnier, considering it's meant to be a hotter location, but it's an MMO, Even so I can let it slide. the coming of the seventh umbral era, hope springs eternal. So that looks a little bit better. The mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. So maybe you mean that kind of oasis? Or? As the twin faces of Nald Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. Proffers? What? Oh, like a prophecy? Or I don't know. There is some language in this game I'm aware of that mark the beginning of is its own era, thing, so I might be a little realm. bit confused about what's going on at times, or what they're saying. Ah, it me. I'm the problem, it's me. And here's where we part ways, lad. I'm off to the markets to live me wares, that is. And then I'm off to go and visit a maiden. Ah, uh, she's got the... You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, I'm smitten with her, I am. Then it's on the high road for me. Here, when you'd have this, by way of thanks for putting up with me prattle. You just received a level 80 gear item. You won't get to use it for the rest of the game. I'm joking. Never did tell me your name, though. But, hey, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. Well, I would prefer to be triangle, damn it. I ain't no square. I ain't no square, damn you. May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. What are you talking about? <laughs> For by fire are we reborn. I'm on fire! <laughs> Just suddenly gets set on fire, gets hit by a Molotov. Ah, here I go again on my own. Final Fantasy 15, bitches. Mmm. God, I love the theme tune for this game, though. Every time the menu is open, I just want to sit there and just relax. You know? Yes. Da 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 da. It me. Very bright. I need to figure out how the hell I'm gonna get good thumbnail images. Ah! Oh, this music's cool as hell. I feel like I'm off on a grand adventure, like there's balloons flying in the sky at a carnival or something, and fireworks, and I'm like, ah! Oh, you know? I'm, I don't know what voice to give them. I venture over here, because I don't know who's saying this. Who the fuck are you? Hi, I mean you. Fish off the carriage by any chance? Eh, how can I tell? Eh. Name's Wymond. My business is knowing every bugger else's. Now then, what if I was to offer you some invaluable advice by way of welcome to our fair city? Free of charge? Even just this once like? I like your sunglasses. I want them right now. That's not a joke. Whisk. Give me your fucking glasses. I want the blue sunglasses of your. Welcome to Uldar, the shining beacon of prosperity rising from the deserts of Fanalan. Please let the controls give you a choose. Well, I'm on controller, so it'd be really weird to select mouse and keyboard. <laughs> Follow the instructions to move your character and adjust the... Okay, I'm going to skip this just because I know how to play the game. Speak to Wyman. Nope, don't need that, don't need that. However, I do need to mess around with some UI elements, so I'll be right back. Okie dokie, I just moved around some stuff um, on my map -do, uh, on my hood I mean, but I might actually quickly move this stuff across, so give me a second. I don't even know why, um, I, I got the idea after I hit fucking unpause, but oh well. I'm gonna stay up here for now and see how it goes, uh, I just feel like, because the quest list is where my webcam was and I was covering a bit of the map as well. Anyway, initiating quest, non-player characters, NPCs, offering quests can be recognised by the exclamation marks Whee! above their heads. To bring up the quest window, speak to the NPC by first tag him, then pressing the confirm button. 
which is air. Once you initiate a quest, the prompts will appear detailing its objectives and rewards. Press the accept button in the lower left to add the quest to your list of current duties. <laughs> he said duty. Anyway. To be recognized as an adventurer in the city-state of Aldar, you must register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. Alright, cool. Register these nuts! More like, am I right? It's plain to anyone with eyes that you don't know your way around here. I actually do, but whatever. If I let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you're certain to get mugged or worse. I don't want that on my conscience. This guy has a lot of blue, but I like the shade of blue he's using. It's very nice. A very nice shade. So before you do anything else, you want to head over to the quicksand and speak with Mamori, and you'll sink in it, and you'll die. Ha! Huh, got him! She's the master of the Adventurer's Guild, and can set you on the right path. Just take those steps over yonder and pass through the double doors, you'll find her inside. That's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the adventure and adventurer. What are you buying? What are you selling? You have begun a quest! Use the duty list to help you to complete your task. <laughs> duty. Duty list. Upon accepting a quest, the current objectives will appear under the quest title on the duty list on the right side of the scrum. A maximum of five quests can be displayed at once. I'm kind of covering this up right now. A little bit. Not the text at least, but whatever. Selecting the title will open the quest in your journal and you to review objectives and rewards. Also, I'll say ahead of time, because I'm on controller for an MMO, the controls are kind of fucky. They're kind of fucky. To select a lot of the stuff on my HUD, I have to press select multiple times. So to talk, I have to do that. And then to select this, I have to do, press select again. And then to get back up here, I have to select again. It's kind of weird, but you, I kind of just have to make do of it because I am on console after all. Anywho, uh, wait, can I attune to this yet? No, I can't. It's not even there yet. Never mind. Like I said, I'm not new to the game. I understand bits of how the game works. It's the story that I'm new to because I didn't pay attention to any of it. I just skipped everything that I could because I just wanted something to grind in for a little while, like a game to grind out. Collecting rewards. Complete a quest by speaking to the NPC with a check mark displayed above his head. Ew! They pay for Twitter! Completing quests will earn you a variety of rewards from items and guild to experience points. That's a joke, by the way. I don't care if you pay for Twitter or not. Or X, as it's called now. But I'm still going to call it Twitter, damn it. It me. I look fabulous with my earrings. Why, hello there. Who might you be? I feel like I have to give all these uh, Lalafell characters high-pitched voices because they're like little gnome characters. If you're looking to join the Adventures Guild, you've come to the right place. I almost turned into Mickey Mouse for a second then. Name's Romany, ha huh? ha. I own this fine establishment if it pleases you, ha huh? ha. Mody Mouse! I also manage the Adventurer's Guild here in Olda, ha ha! Olda, ha ha! <laughs> what am I doing? So you might say that looking after green adventurers like yourself- I'll have you know I'm not green, I am like a beige colour or something. It's my vocation, ha! Huh? And lucky for you, that's what- And lucky for you that it is! Without someone like me to steer you right or left, you'd find yourself out of the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand, ha ha! Like a drug deal! Like our conflicts with the Amalja. For example, they've been plaguing the they've been plaguing the Sultanate for a high for night on oh forever now. Ha -ha. Then there's the Gallian Empire. None can say for sure what they're plotting these days. Only that they are. They're always plotting. Oh hell yeah. Screenshot, 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 screenshot. <laughs> Hey, the people drink and make merry and make love a lot, actually. It's kind of a problem. But underneath it all, there's worry, worry and lingering feeling of loss, ha-ha. <laughs> and little wonder, it's scarce been five years since the lesser moon cracked open like an Easter egg, releasing an abomination known as chocolate and turning, turning the realm into an eighth hell of Easter. Ha-ha. <laughs> Look at that. Look, that character in the background is like, look at that ass. Look, I, I was pointing at it. It looks so firm. I just look at it. Ah, oh, it's so good. I just want to put my finger in it. I mean, what? Huh? So much was lost in the blink of an eye. It was like the end of the world had come at last. And then it didn't. And I was sad. 
But then things began to get foggy, and then everything turned into Silent Hill, and then there was Pyramid Head, and then there was Mary, and then there was eventually a, a, a carnival. It was kind of weird. Everyone's got their own version of what happened next. Some of them, two or three. <laughs> You'd think that people would remember something like that, but the fact is they don't. Nobody does. This music is so fucking good, by the way, like, mmm. There's one thing the survivors agree on, though. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for a realm that wasn't even their own. They were on the Raiden realm. They should have been on the Alpha realm. They fought valiantly. Ha <laughs> ha. And so, and so, and like so many others, they never returned. Like you. Huh? Deeds worth remembering, I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame my recollections of those brave heroes are as jumbled as those of the Calamity Ganon itself. Whenever we try to call their faces to mind, it's like they're standing between us and the midday sun. Ha <laughs> ha. Permanently silhouetted. I see a permanent silhouette of a man scattered much, scattered much, will you do the fandango? I bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. But even if we can remember them, we'll not let them be forgotten. And so we call them the Warriors of Light. Oh. And they'll forever be standing as a shining example of what adventurers can achieve. Ha huh? That's why I welcome new arrivals like yourself to our fair city. More like fair shitty. Am I right? <laughs> oh. All I ask is that you lend a helping hand. She's got a really cute design though. Like I like the little like things in her hair. It's adorable. I try to leave Alda in a better state than you found her. So don't you go peeing in the back streets when you're drunk, you son of a bitch. If you can promise that, I'll be happy to let you join the guild. Yes, I shall. All right then, the promise is a promise now. <laughs> I'm counting on your help. That guy in the background looks super sus, like he's trying to listen into our conversation. Don't mind me, just a random stranger. Do, 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 do. Not plotting to kill you or anything. Do, 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 do. I'm counting on your help to put the past behind us. We need people. That's how the past works. We need people working and spending and bickering like the old days. And a happy and prosperous old arm means more business for the quicksand too. Any road, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the register. Neat as you can. She was doing a fucking soldier boy. Uh, you for a second then. I respect that reference. Huh. What do you know? I can't read. Ocean Kingfish. Well, ain't that a charming name? Just rolls off the tongue, it does. All right, Mr. Kingfish. That's King Kingfish to you. On behalf of the Adventurers Guild, I officially... Please, sir, be merciful! <laughs> oh, he was suspicious, I guess. That, never mind, this motherfucker's suspicious. Look at that shit-eating grin. <laughs> so was my witness, I swear to you. I'll bring you your money. In the East, it is said that even a merciful god might be driven a vengeance if thrice blasphemed. Be grateful... Yes, be grateful you were given a fourth chance to offend, you son of a bitch. You too, attend to the scum. No, please, mercy. Okay, that was quick. What is this? Infinite wealth? <laughs> well, ain't that a sorry sight? Not an uncommon one if I'm honest, huh? Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Why can't we step in? Just the same, you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another? Pay me a visit. Literally, like, give me some fucking money, you cheap son of a bitch. But don't go bothering me every time you stub your bloody toe, all right? But you're adorable. I just want to pick you up and give you a cuddle. Of course, I do enjoy hearing tell of a gentleman's woes with the women folk from time to time. Tell me who you're fucking. I want to know. I like Fifty Shades of Grey. Tell me. I love that shit. Tell me. Tell me. Any road. Welcome to Old Art Ocean. It's weird saying my own name. Oof, look at that water. Take a moment to catch your breath and I'll teach you a little about our fair city. I'm actually going a little bit lightheaded from all the reading I'm doing right now. Oh, and all the voices. Yikes. That's the only problem I have. I get lightheaded very easily when I'm doing too much yapping. You know, too much yapping. 
This concludes the introductory game tutorial. You have taken the first steps on adventure in the city of Ulda. Listen well, it's the wisdom of Mamori Mori. That's one of the really funny things about Lalafell. Their names have conventions like that. Like, if I call my Lalafell... Is Maddy... Um, for the first name, their name will be Is Maddy Maddy. Or like, Jacoby Colby. Or... Lakshmi Shmi. You know, like, they always take the last half of the first... It's kind of funny, but I like it. Then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Ah! Why was that so loud? Jesus Christ. Main scenario quest. Important quest used to tell the story... Uh, used to tell the story of Eorzea and her people are called main scenario quests. The things that I'm focusing on in this series. The tasks are easily distinguishable from others by their unique icon. Quests using this icon indicate a task or series... Or series of tasks uh, tied to new duties or features that you have yet to unlock. Alright, well, I'm going to do some stuff for a second. Oakley Doakley Do. Close to home. Momodi, the proprietress of the quicksand, wants you to perform free tasks. The tasks free that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. Hell yeah. Before you go charge out to find your fortune, huh? I have a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform, so as to help you get to know the place. First of all, get on your feet, or get on your knees, and fucking kiss the ground I walk on, you bitch! I'm the best! I'm the best, damn it! Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Um, I want you to visit the Etherite Plaza. To get there, head west from here till you reach Emerald Avenue. You're gonna walk up to Emerald Avenue. Then look to the north. You should see a giant fucking floating crystal called an Etherite. It's hard to miss. Like, seriously! If it weren't for Aetherites, traveling around on yours, it would be a damn sight more troublesome than it already is! Because it is kind of a pain to get around sometimes. Anyway. Of course, you still need to attune with them before you can use them, so be sure to do that with the one in the plaza. You ever attune with an Aetherite before, Ocean? If not, just lay your hand on the thing and you'll see what you mean! You'll trip fucking balls! It's crazy! When you've done that, I want you to pay a visit to the Gladiator's Guild over at the Coliseum. Assuming that your sword ain't just for show, you might consider trading there. Which doesn't make sense why it's the Gladiator's Guild. It should be the Warrior's Guild, really, when you think about it, but whatever. And finally, I want you to... It's Wait, am I a Gladiator or a Warrior? I thought I was a Warrior. I can't remember. Anyway. I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue Exchange over on the steps of Fall. And then you'll fall over. Kids from all across the yards here and beyond turn up there every day. You'll have no trouble finding armor, weapons, or anything else a fledgling adventurer like yourself might need. You might say that everything's for sale here in Oldar, as long as you've got the gill. As long as you're a fish and you've got gills, then you can fucking swim! Yes! Just make sure, uh, just make sure as you don't pay more than you ought, Ocean. The language is so weird in this game sometimes. There's plenty as won't scruple to swindle unsuspecting foreigners like yourself. Especially if they think no one's looking out for the best interests. Which is why I'm giving you, you, this letter. When you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Cesaroga and give it to him. Like, really give it to him. Like, stick it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the markets once he's read it. In short, then, who the fuck are you calling short? Who you calling short, huh? You little bit, huh? Oh, I said that. Never mind. Visit the Ephraim Plaza, the Gladiators Guild, and the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Simple. Oh, but before you go, a word of advice. Um, you got a little bit of ketchup on your chin. Yeah, 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 just there. Okay, you got it. Good job. Anyway, while there's more than a few unsavory characters out there who will try to take advantage of you, like me, take your shirt off. I mean, what? There are also some honest-to-goodness problems who you should consider offering a helping hand to. I don't understand some of the language in this game. It's so confusing. A lot of folk are lured to the city by the promise of wealth and power and big boobs and butts and fucking other sexual stuff. What many of them fail to realize is that instead of chasing after Gil the moment they get here, they ought to be just going and finding a girl to have some fun with. I mean, um, making friends. Let it be known that you're willing to give as much as you get and opportunities will come your way. Speaking of which, that's kind of a cool outfit. I like that. That's like Knock off Link. If you make his hair blonde, it's Link. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's kind of like Link. The new version of Zelda. Oh, we, 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 can, Mom, can we get Zelda? We've got Zelda at home. Zelda at home. <laughs> 
should speak with the Smith over yonder. His name's John Smith. Those lads have always had some good advice for up-and-coming adventurers. Otherwise, that's about it from me. It's past time that you got going. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, well, let me know when you're finished, will you? That way I won't spend my days worrying that you're down to your small clothes on a guild of your name. What if I want to be in my small clothes? <laughs> I think that man fancies me. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Take your shirt off. Does he know that I'm not ripped? I'm smooth. I'm smooth, damn it. Well, that's a cute cat. Hell yeah. Look at that. That cat has seen some shit, and I respect it. Main menu. The main menu grants quick and easy access to the game's main features. Yep, like character stuff and duties. If you wish to customize the game's various settings, you can do that stuff through there. I've already done that. Game progress is saved automatically. There's no in-game save or load functions. To prevent data from being lost, it's recommended that you exit each session by selecting log out or exit game. Which I do. A crescent moon will appear um, whenever you enter a sanctuary. While in this special area, you gain arrested bonus. <laughs> Why am I getting arrested? <laughs> the bonus will continue to grow even if you are offline. All experience earned through battle, crafting, and gathering while under the benefit of the rested bonus will be increased by 50%. You get extra XP, basically, is what that's saying. Current rested bonus is displayed on top of your experience bar. Yeah, okay. Inns in, inns in cities as well as various outposts and settlements are classified as sanctuaries. To max sanctuary, great song. To maximize your experience earning potential, make it a habit to always log out in one of those areas. Select map from the travel. Press X, the controller, to bring up map and stuff, which is doing this. I cannot seem to figure out how to change the size of the map though, so that's going to be how it looks from now on. Ba -da 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 -da. The Smith. Greetings, I'm one of the Smiths, a stoker of fires and forger of futures. As a dedicated member of the Adventurers Guild, I have been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers like yourself, you basic bitch. I see you have recently taken up the Adventurers Mantle, but have you taken up the Mantle Place or the Mantle Piece? The possibilities stretching out before you must be positively daunting. <laughs> In the Adventurers Guild, we see new adventurers as fledgling heroes. You are our champions of tomorrow, after all, our nascent stars of limitless potential. My fellow Smiths and I are here, my family that is, are here to provide you with guidance. But the Guild also enlists a cadre of veteran adventurers who you will be, who you'll be happy to share with you who will be happy to share with you their accumulated wisdom. You can recognize these helpful men and women and people of all types by the title of Mentor. M mentors stand ready to advise you on any aspect of adventuring. They have hundreds of quests under their belts and will likely have a solution for whatever dilemma might be causing you trouble. A mentor may even offer to accompany you on your adventures. And they might even give you a little bit of a kiss. I highly recommend that you take advantage of a mentor's aid to enrich your experiences of in in Eorzea. My brain just shut down. Pray do not hesitate to ask me if you would like to know more. The new adventurer status is applied to all the players who have recently begun their adventures in Eorzea, also known as Sprouts. Amongst... What just happened? Something just disappeared. I don't know. Among Eorzea's thriving population, there are seasoned players known as, me known as mentors who are taking it upon themselves to assist these new men uh, these new adventurers. When a new adventurer and mentor from a party, when a new adventurer and a mentor form a party, they gain a bonus to experience. Ah, damn it! I mean, I get a lot of XP anyway um, with the all the bonuses I currently have, so that's fine. Upon invitation by a mentor, new adventurers also gain access to the Novice Network, an exclusive chat channel where they can consult with mentors and share their experiences for the beginning players. I did not read this when I first played. That character's outfit looks fantastic, by the way, and I love that color. Hell yeah, Grey Voghull. Try to show your name on screen. There you go. Hell yeah. What a fantastic looking character. Fuck yeah. They kind of don't look like they're from this game, though. They look like they came from, like, another, another game entirely, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I didn't know about the Novice Network. That might have helped a lot when I was trying to figure out how to do certain things in this game. Because it doesn't explain everything and it can be very confusing. <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't need to know any of that. I am, however, real quick, gonna change the sound settings. I feel like the sound effects are a bit too much. Uh, maybe system sounds as well. 
Um, like, when I finished, when I got that quest, it was like, Dun -dun -dun! like, in my ear, I was like, ah. Player effects volume. Uh, maybe I'll turn that down a little bit. Because there's a lot of stuff going on, and it's kind of a lot. <laughs> ah, some, like, cool options there. That's cool. I also, um, have changed the theme for this. You can have different themes. There's, I think this is how the game usually looks. Um, there's like a light theme, which is kind of cool. The classic Final Fantasy looks a bit more retro, but I've gone for this clear blue, because I rather like this blue. Looks very nice, you know? Looks very nice. Anyway. Yo, what up, Asna? How's it going, girl? Like, damn. I feel weird saying this, actually. These are actual people. But I'm just admiring their characters, you know? They look ca Oh my god. This race is the best looking race. I'm not gonna lie, I would have been a bunny girl if I had the option. I would have said, screw making myself, I'm being a bunny girl, you know? I would absolutely have been a bunny girl. That would have been fantastic. But then I wouldn't have been able to play the game, so I would have been too busy stirring at my character non-stop. Can I take my- I can take my shirt off from what I know of. I have no nipples, and that's kind of weird. <laughs> I have no nipples at all. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like a figurine with no nipples or something. That is so strange. That is so strange. Huh. Oh, I am a gladiator. I thought I was like a warrior. I don't know why. All right. Yep. I know how that mirror chest works. Uh, I'm going to really quickly set this gear list so I can uh, change that back at any time. I also have an extra ring that it gives you for some reason. So I'm going to equip that real quick. All right. Cool. Um, so... You can actually as well, just to quickly show you, for anyone that's never played this game, the HUD system is very cool in this game. There's all these options you can choose. So like, if I select like my, uh, my mini-map, where is that? Mini-map in the top right, over there. No, over there. Um, mini-map. It's highlighted with a slight orange tint. And I can actually use the right stick to move it around and set where I want that to be. So I've just left it up here because I like it up here, but I just like pushed it a bit closer to the edge of the screen, basically, which is nice. I can also, like, change the size of it. I can change the transparency of it. It's very, very cool. Very, very cool. So, I, so this HUD that, you've, uh, that you can see right now, I have set that up to be that way. Hi again, Wyman. Uh, I don't think I want to do that right now. I kind of just want to thought... What is happening? <laughs> this game's so strange. Um... I remembered as well, I was in Uldar on my main character, just roaming around, and I was, I think I was over here somewhere, and I saw many people with bonfires all in a giant line, because, I apologize, I forget the name of the guy, but the creator of Dragon Ball passed away, and it was a big thing. Lots of people were sad, sad to hear it. And I was just roaming through here, minding my business, and I saw lots of characters with bonfires wearing Dragon Ball-style outfits with Dragon Quest outfits, because I think the creator had something to do with Dragon Quest. I apologize for not knowing. I don't really know much about Dragon Quest. It's a series that's on my list, though. I actually really do want to play that for this channel. Um, I want to play the current one. Um, I really like the look of that game. Um, but yeah, and they were all doing, like, a tribute to that person with Dragon Ball outfits, and I'm tearing up just saying it. I was like, oh, oh, it was so beautiful, but so sad at the same time. So anyway, uh, what was I doing? <laughs> um, oh, I need to go, the, I need to go to the Aoife right. I will sprint. Although I actually forgot I need to change my, uh, my hot, my cr cross hot bars, I think these are called. But yeah, so I want to I want to do that real quick. So I'm going to um, fuck no wrong wrong area. Um, that one because I prefer fucking ah uh, uh, the control. Oh, God damn it, the controls still confuse me right now. They still confuse the hell out of me. Um, but yeah, I like to have all my travel and other things on the second. Second bar, this is just for like certain things like that. And then my first bar, apart from sprint, which is handy for combat, this is like my combat hot bar. For a while anyway, because eventually I'm going to have too many items. Oh, look at this. Oh, 
I love some of the fashion in this game. It looks fantastic. And that hairstyle is incredible. Is that, um... Is she called Riku, I think? I might be thinking of the wrong character. That reminds me of a character from, I think it's Final Fantasy X-2. I haven't played those games yet. That's Snow, though. That's Snow's jacket and hat. I recognize that anywhere. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I, but yeah, Final Fantasy is a weird series for me. Because I have played um, 13, 13 to Lightning Returns, 15, and 7 Remake. I wasn't the biggest fan of 7 Remake, though, just because you need to be in the know about some of the story to fully un about the original story and all of the pieces of the puzzle, essentially, in order to understand what's going on sometimes, and I wasn't a big fan of that. I actually do want to replay that for this channel at some point, but I'm waiting to see about playing the uh, PlayStation 5 version at some point, when I can hopefully get a PS5 in the future. Um, so I can play the DLC for it as well, because I never got to play that, and then play Rebirth, of course. Nenibaru. Hail adventurer, might you have come at the behest of Miss Mamori of the Quicksand? Ah, another person. Another tiny Lalafell friend. Excellent. Which brings us to the matter of the achievement fee. That'll be 100,000 gil if you please, sir. Come on, pay up. Pay up, you poor little peasant. <laughs> Apologies, but I do so relish the opportunity to put relish on my burger. And to make that jest, of course. I like the word Jess. With with jest, but without the T. That's one of my favourite words in the English language. Anyway, the look on the look on your face was absolutely priceless. But the fact that you were so easily deceived suggests to me that you are unfamiliar with the use of etherites. Allow me to explain. That is a crystal. The end. These crystalline agglomerate fucking things tap into ethereal energies and are primarily used as a means to travel tailor swiftly from one place to another. Perchance have you heard of Return and Teleport? It's a great album. I love that album. It's so good. Well, these transportation sp uh, spells make direct use of the etherites and the connection to the flow of the ether. Given that there is an etherite in almost every corner of Eorzea, any adventurer of a mind to explore the realm will wish to seek out and attune himself to each and every one. I can slightly peek out of my little helmet. I'm peeking. <laughs> I'm peeking. But even if you have no intention of wandering beyond the Sultanate's borders, it'll be prudent for you to attune yourself to any Ephrites you encounter from now on. Valuable information and advice. I pray you found that informative. Should you wish to learn more about Ephrites or transportation magic, I should happily, I should be happy to answer your questions. Anyway, yep. Stare at the crystal, it's pretty cool. You attune with the Ephrite, you know, to use the return spell, which means I can teleport back here. But it is on a cooldown. Return. Yep. Ah. Oh. oh, Free Ren? Is that like Free Ren from the anime? I've not watched it, but I've heard a lot of good things. But that that looks like they're trying to be that character. That's kind of cool. Shout out to Free Ren Kuro. Good job. You did a good job. My favorite one that I saw the other day, though. Uh, you know what? I can find this. So this is a screenshot. This is uh, one of the- I was messing around playing as another character just for a little bit because I, I didn't know what to do. And I found this guy, Link Skyward. Look at him! He's a Lalafell dressed like Link from Legend of Zelda. How cool is that? How cool is that? I was like, hell yeah! I've seen him like three times running around on that server. I won't see him on this one though because I'm on a different server now unfortunately, but... Shout out to Link Skyward. Hell yeah. Anyway, back to the game. Um, alright. This is definitely going to be one of those games where I'm going to... There's going to be a lot of moments where I'm just going to be kind of hanging out and chatting and doing stuff. Also, another thing that I should point out, I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but you can actually be a jack of all trades in this game. You actually can. So all these different characters, I could be that with this character. I can be her, well, maybe not her, but I can be the same class. I can be that class. You know, I don't, I'm not stuck with this class that I'm on. Strawberry ice cream, huh? Hell yeah. Love some strawberry ice cream. Where am I going? <laughs> I'm going like the wrong way. Ah, getting jaw pains for some reason. Might just be uh, a little bit too excited and talking a bunch, but whatever. Causing me jaw pain. Ah, oh, this area is cool. Yes! Yes! Hell yeah. That's what we came for. 
The one on the left is a little bit behind at times, but she's got the spirit. She's got the spirit. She'll figure it out. Will a helm? Will a helm scream? Ow! I can't do a good impression of it, but whatever. <laughs> the steps of fall. Fall ul is cast in aistos. And then I summon a demon. Uh, that's going to my main... Qu you know what? I think that's close by. That's closer, should I say. But yes, there's like... Although, and also, if you've never seen anything of this game, there's also a ton of, of uh, different classes. The ones that I showed you at the start of the game briefly are not all there is to access. There's actually way more than that. It's insane. There's so many. Like, there's red mage, there's blue mage, there's samurai. It's awesome. And you are huh, a newly come adventurer, but of course. Yes, I'm Sasaroga. What can I do for you? Ah, you would have me teach you the ways of the marketplace. Very wise, uh, very wise, and very wise indeed. I thought I misread that. For that pink looks very nice. Your shirts, the head parts. Hell yeah. As for my fee, what? You expect me to do this for free? For exposure? Surely you jest. My dear adventurer, when you ask an old Don for a favor, you should at least try to make it worth his while. You give them money, or you get down on your goddamn knees, and you suck on this d um, I mean, judging by your garb, I rather doubt you could afford my services, but the fact that you offer nothing is laughable. Okay, mean. Hmm. Ah, Mistress Mamodi instructed you to seek me out, did she? Huh. Consider yourself fortunate to have such influential friends. I should be brief, and you should be attentive. She only wants to seek me out because she wants this dick. And I keep saying no, and she won't leave me alone. It's kind of weird. Tell her I do not want to go out with her. You stand in the Sapphire Avenue ex Exchange, the busiest and most profitable marketplace in the Sultanate. That's reasons to you. Being advantageously situated in relation to the other city-states, Aldar's markets have ever served as both the literal and figurative centers of Eorzean commerce. All the great overland trade routes lead to our city, and the majority of maritime trade between Vilbrand and Aldenard passes through our ports. Because of this, countless companies are consortia have cho and consortia have chosen Ulda as their base of operations. They see it that this marketplace is awash with merchants and moneylenders day and night. Anything a man, or woman for that matter, could ever desire can be purchased here, provided as he has sufficient funds. Surely there's something you seek, adventurer. A deadlier sword, perhaps, or a shinier trinket. Whatever it is that you want, I just, my mouth just stopped working again. The exchange will have it. To the north, you will find merchants peddling armor and accessories, curatives and crafting materials. This music is fantastic. And to the south, you will find weapons, tools, and assortment of other useful items for sale. Seek out to a particular merchant, or browse to your heart's content. But do try to remain aloof should you find something that piques your interest. Decisions made in the heat of the moment are usually unwise, especially where coin is concerned. That's a South Park reference for anyone who doesn't get that. It's a random little fun story. Me and a... A friend of mine who is no longer with us, unfortunately, which is very sad. Um, and another friend, um, during our college years, because of a, a South Park episode, there's a part where Eric Cartman uh, starts singing Heat of the Moment, and he goes, Heat of the Moment, and everyone goes, and like, clap, like, smack, smack on your legs, clap. And anytime anyone said Heat of the Moment, we would all, for a joke, just go, and do it every time. And now I can't not do it. It's like a muscle. It's, it's, it's like a reflex now. So once it's heat of the moment, and I just do it every time. <laughs> that is all the complimentary aid you shall have from me, and far too much for my taste. My regards to Mamodi. Now, off with you. I like the color of your hair, but you're an asshole. The color of your hair is the only cool thing about you, you bitch. Anyway. You can hand over key items. Cool. Sorry for all the pausing. I uh, had food in the oven. I figured then I can uh, let it cool down for a little bit and then I can uh, finish up this episode and then eat it. Ready for the next episode to be recorded. Because I tend to do a lot of these episodes um, for my uh, content back to back if you're new here. 
I like to give a little bit of behind the scenes, I guess, from time to time. But anyway, what the fuck was I doing again? <laughs> oh yeah, but this this is actually where you access the Red Mage class, I believe. Yeah, but you do have to be level 50. Although I, I, I could have swore that you had to complete the Realm Reborn quest line first, but I don't know. I do want to look into Red Mage though, because Red Mage seems like a really cool class. Um, what I have been doing with this game in my own time is I like my characters to have specific classes. Um, I don't like to be a jack of all trades. It gives that uh, character more of an identity in the world, if you know what I mean. Like, it would be really odd for my... Um, for one of my magic characters who's all about magic to suddenly be a samurai, you know? I, I don't know, I just, I, I just pick certain classes that... Uh, I feel like suit certain characters. With this character, however, I actually am thinking that I don't really mind taking on a bunch of different jobs. It could be fun. Uh, what am I doing again? Uh, this way. <laughs> Sorry, I got really lost for a second then, like, holy shit. I was trying to form my thoughts and... Okay, that's a strange creature. I imagine that's from one of the other games, but I'm not sure. It looked like a Pikmin. Also, if you want to know something really goddamn cool about this game that I learned, I think it's in it's either Stormblood or Shadowbringers, I think. Um, there's a raid. I can't access that other. There's a raid that's actually all based around Nier Automata, a series in which I've, I actually have started playing. I don't know when this video will come out, but I have started playing Nier Automata for this channel, but I haven't released the episodes yet. Um, I've been steadily kind of building up a backlog of episodes of it first so that I can release it um, because there's a lot of other games I've been playing lately on this channel. Um, I'm kind of in that mood right now where because I was playing Infinite Well for so long. I'm kind of in... How do I get in there? Oh, I go the other way. I got a little bit lost there. I'm kind of uh, just in a mood for jumping between games a little bit, like playing multiple games at the moment. I'm a variety channel after all. Just going to do this real quick. Dragon's Master. But yeah, and um, so I figured instead of having too many series going at once, I'm just going to stack up some of the videos so I can release them later on, which means then, hopefully, I'll have more episodes to, um, to post more frequently, basically. And there are other series that I've got going on now, right now, like, uh, like Dragon Infinite Wealth, Persona 3, and The Walking Dead Destinies. So I kind of want to crack on with those before I focus on Nier Automata, but I have been playing that from time to time when I don't feel like playing Persona or uh, Infinite Wealth. All right. Welcome to the Gladiator Guild, friend. Tell me, are you new to the frills of mortal- MORTAL COMBAT? Well, whether you are or not, you are new to us. Who the fuck are you? If you would like to take your place in these hallowed halls, you must be willing and ready to undergo the most rigorous training. You must endure cuts and bruises beyond counting, and like as not far worse. A daunting prospect, I concede, but there is no other way if you mean to take to the blood sands one day. And why wouldn't you? The Colosseum is the only cell is the most celebrated place of public entertainment in all of Old Ar. Where else could a poor man amass a fortune so vast as to one day allow him to claim a seat on the syndicate? Ah, there's not an old on alive who's uninspired by the rise of the self-made man. And there's no truer embodiment of this than the gladiator who wins riches and fame with his sword. Throughout its long and storied history, this guild has nurtured countless champions. Our training methods are second to none, and our members ever strive to develop new techniques. If you desire true glory, to fight and triumph, midst the roar of ten thousand voices, <sighs> And this is where you belong, adventurer. Think of it. Think of your legacy. If your soul stares, join us. I said soul really weirdly, but whatever. Sell. Better call sell. What's this? Mammoth steak. All right. And she's like, you. Hell yeah. Lulutsu wishes you to reaffirm your desire to join the Gladiator's Guild. What will it be? Will you rise above the masses and inscribe your name in legend? Or will you resign yourself to mediocrity and die in obscurity as a little bitch? Yes. It'd be really weird if I didn't. <laughs> a decision you shan't regret. One moment. Make way for ocean kingfish. Fresh meat coming fruit. What the fuck do you mean? Don't you eat me. Now then, before your enrollment can be considered complete, you must present yourself to First Sword Milia. Milia, I mean. 
Seek her out and obtain our approval. All right. My lahi, my laha. Yo, she kind of fucking hot though. Just she, she kind of pretty. Just saying. I, I heard the Lutsu. So you're Ocean Kingfish. Tis a good, strong name. On behalf of the Gladiators Guild, allow me to welcome you. I am Myla, Guildmaster here. So you wish to study our arts. So you wanna be a boxer in the Golden Ring. That's a fucking old ass reference, but a good one nonetheless. Let me know if you got it in the comment section. I presume you have your reasons for choosing the sword over all other weapons. Perhaps you think it is easiest to learn. A sword is a simple weapon, yes, but to wield a blade well is anything but simple. For every Colosseum champion to emerge from our ranks, there have been countless disappointments who failed to achieve greatness. Bear that in, er, in mind before you answer me, Ocean, for I do, not, I, I do not ask this question lightly. I ask it darkly. Have you the strength to wield, uh, have you the strength to live by the sword? And if it be your fate, die by it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I like it here anymore. I look, I, I really look like I'm uncertain about everything and a little bit scared at all times, but you know what? That's a mood. That's literally me in a nutshell. I nailed it. Then welcome, gladiator, to your new home. Let's not waste time, shall we? I would gouge out your eyes. I mean, your aptitude for the sword. Just outside the gates over there. Of Olda, you'll find plenty of marmots, hornets, and shrews. Slave free of each, return here when finished. A simple task, yes, but essential to your training nonetheless. Now go, get out of my sight, you whelp. Oh yes, oh yes, mummy. Oh yes, oh yes, mummy. Fucking spit on me, uh, what? Hmm? Why are you talking? Oh, she's talking to them. I thought she was like just talking to herself. Also, this is a first person camera. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know if there's like a button to like turn off the hood though. That'd be nice for screenshots, but oh well. All right, so I need to uh, leave the area. So this, well, actually I'm probably better off just using this fast travel. Um, because it's gonna be a little while before I will get a mount. So, uh, gonna be a lot of walking. I may, um, occasionally, if I feel the need to, I may occasionally pause the video. Or just cut ahead. Ah, they haven't, oh, never mind. She's just pausing. I thought those two people were having a little bit of a cuddle for a second then. Yo, Angel Beats, is that you? Anyway, I actually have Angel Beaks figurines just off screen over here. Love it. Love it. It was actually one of the first anime I ever watched. Because I came late to anime. Ah, oh, look at them. I think they're new as well. I think they're new as well. Um, one of the weird things about this game is you actually get really cool starting outfits and then as soon as you start actually gearing up, you look terrible. <laughs> it's so weird. Also, I think this is how you get the samurai quest. I might do that on this series. That could be fun. I want to be a samurai. Oh, hell yeah! You fucking go, Lily Stern. Mmm! I like to think she's listening to music in her head. Are they friends or is she just like, why are you dancing? Like, why are you dancing? Dancing queen, young as she, only 17. Why are you dancing? You can dance in your underpants. Anyway. I'm a little bit hyperactive right now and I don't know why or how. <laughs> My sleep was so bad last night, I woke up constantly throughout the night, and then I woke up again in the morning, and I was supposed to get out of bed, and then I accidentally fell back asleep again. <laughs> I'm a mess. And today was one of those days, it was just one of those days where I was, it was a mess of a day. Anyway, oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Um, ah, I do need to go to the quicksand real quick, so I might as well do that real quick. And then, to end the episode, I will go and do the uh, the combat quest. Just to show some of the combat, I guess. Just in case there's anyone watching here that uh, hasn't seen this game before and is curious what the combat is like. How was your tour of the city, Ocean? <laughs> Get lost, did you? 
Now fucking get lost even further! Go away! Mimori's my favourite character to voice so far. Aye, well, all those big plates were lots to see and do. But why don't you get around aimlessly? Don't pay the bills. If you're serious about making a living here, huh? You'll need to remember where things are. Where am I again? Who are you? So when you go exploring, explore like you got a purpose, huh? You got a strut! You got a strut! Alright then, all that's left is for you to work hard, make money, and spend it here at the quicksand on me, you son of a bitch! I wanna be your fucking sugar baby! You're my sugar daddy now! Give me your money! Buy things for me! Look at me! I'm your e-girl now! Anyway. Da, na, 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 na. Every time I hear that, thanks to Final Fantasy XV, I hear... Um... Promptor. I forgot his name for a second. I'm going. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why I made him sound like the uh, fucking Tom DeLong from Blake 182. But anyway, melee oriented classes such as the Gladiator and Marauder. C Hi Nero, you just appeared. Um, also, shout out to Fifishu Fishu because they have fish in the name. Cousin? Is that you? Anyway. Um, can chit gather their weapon skills to deal additional damage or inflict additional enfeeblements to their targets? This is known as a combo. I can't wait to not be able to do this combat correctly because I'm not great at MMOs. So, uh... Yikes. Combo's not available to pugilists as this melee class employs a unique weapon skill chaining system. Interesting. If a weapon skill can be chained with another, it will be in uh, indicated on the weapon skill's help text under combo action. Okay. In the case of Vorpal Frost... <laughs> guys. Level with me here. And, and, and ladies as well. You ever just hit them with the Vorpal Frost? You ever just take the pants down, take yours down, consensually, that is, to make that clear, and just give them the Vorpal Frost? Do they ever just sit down and say to you, hey, give me that good old Vorpal Frost, you know? But e e even better, even better. If executed immediately after true Frost, the potency will be increased. Level with me here, people. Does the potency of your Vorpal Frost ever actually get stronger after a True Frost? Do you ever just give them the True Frost? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The potency will be increased. Some weapon skills must be delivered... Uh, yeah, delivered from a specified direction to maximize their damage. When a weapon skill can be chained into a combo, it's hot by... Hot... Hot by a? What? What am I saying? A <laughs> hot bar icon will be outlined with a flashing yellow border. The border will fade if the weapon skill is not used in a certain amount of time. Learn which weapon skills chain together to maximize your battle efficiency. I've come up with a new efficiency. I get uh, altered fire boots for this. They look like this. Mine look better, and that's exactly... Actually, they, don't, they look pretty cool, but mine look better, and that's what I mean. <laughs> Well, youngling, how are you finding our, fi our fine old eye then? Got your bearings around you yet? You fucking idiot! If so, maybe it's mayhap it's time for you that you ventured beyond the city walls. The bustling streets of Aldar are one thing, but the walls of Fatherland, that's another altogether, huh? I know a bloke you might fancy. A bloke? Should I have given you an English accent this entire time? A bloke? A bit blokey? I know a bloke you might fancy speaking to, and he you, name of Papa Shan, like Papa Shango the wrestler. You'll find him over at the Old Law Dispatch Yard. No doubt I'll have some work for you. The Dispatch Yard's over in Central Fatherland, you fucking idiot. Just head out the door across the hall and you'll see the great high ro ro romaric pool. You kind of look like me a little bit. Brother? Is that you? Brother? Oh, hi. Ke- Ke- Kedoli Solara, I like the purple in your hair. That's very cool. If your hair was completely purple, you would look like Yuri from Doki no uh, Doki Literature Club. Shout out to that game and that playthrough. I had a fun play uh, fun time with that playthrough. Both of them, in fact, because I did Doki Plus as well. You see the great the, the gates of Nald staring right back at you like this, like literally like this. It's kind of weird. Pass through it and head east. You'll come upon it before long. But don't you come on it, you disgusting degenerate! There's dangers beyond the wall, though. More than I'd care to count. Nothing so terrible, mind you, but feisty enough to attack it if you draw near. Don't say nobody cared enough to warn you. All right, well. Fair enough, then. Hi there, Memenaru. I don't think you're a player. I think you're an NPC, but I'm not sure. Um... 
All right, uh, combat stuff. Where the fuck am I going for that again? Um, that's the main quest. Uh, I'm still not good with navigation in this game. I find navigation very... I'm not going to lie, kind of tedious. Okay, so I just need to go out of the, the same gate. That's fine. It can be a little bit difficult to figure out where you're supposed to be going sometimes. Also, uh, I think it just went off, actually, but there was just recently a Final Fantasy XV event in this game where Noctis was in the game, so that was pretty cool. Um, you could get his hairstyle and his outfit, and you could get the regalia as uh, a mount, which is pretty cool. I didn't manage to get the regalia because it was very grinding. I just could not be bothered. I'm not going to lie, but uh, I did get the outfit. I don't, I don't know if I can use it on this character, though. I think it might be character bound, which is kind of lame, if true. I don't actually know. Let me know if it is, but whatever. Select the target with the directional buttons. Press confirm once to target it. Oh, the targeting in this game for console, by the way, is fucking garbo, by the way. I constantly end up targeting enemies that I'm not trying to target, and it's such a pain in the ass. And sometimes there'll be, like, four enemies, and it'll target three of them, but not the one in the middle, and then it'll keep just going between the three and not the one in its... Which is another reason why I'm playing a DPS class. Well, I'm going to be playing a DPS class. I don't want to play a tank or healer because the targeting just feels so frustrating to deal with that I don't want to let down my teammates because I can't target something properly. Anyway, press, press confirm a second time to switch to active mode and ready auto attack. Approach and face the target to start the battle. Two rotating arrows will appear over the target you're currently attacking. Various actions such as spells and stuff can use use the cross hotbar to do that. Um... The cross hotbar is only available in controller mo troll mode, which is why I don't have like a lot of hotbars everywhere. I have the, uh, the my hotbar. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. I'll I'll get to that in a second. Then I guess uh, the actions set to your yep can be initiated with that. Most actions require magic points or MP. Major pussy. Um, uh, what? Hmm? That's me. Wait, what? Hmm? To execute. In addition to having recast times of various lengths, though MP slowly regenerates, uh, there exist items and actions which can be used to immediately restore them, such as, like, portions and stuff. Disciples of Magic and Disciples of War, who specialize in, uh, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Um, who specialize in ranged attacks such as archers are best suited fighting their targets from a distance. Whereas I am more accustomed to fighting up close with this class. Achievements! Yay! They're like, oh, I'm covering it up, but they're like, yay! Congratulations. Uh, actually, can I... I don't think I can move this, can I? No, never mind. Um, you've received your first achievement. Cool. There are rewards that you can get upon um, doing certain achievements. I haven't actually looked at those. Real weapons and armor and stuff. Hmm. I, I actually have never looked at the achievements. It's just not something that's been on my radar. I thought they were just going to be, like, kind of pointless, but it turns out you get some cool stuff for it. Where the hell are they? <laughs> ah, there they are, at the bottom. I don't know if this is going to count for, uh, just this character, I assume, or if it's for every character. Okay, it's, it's definitely just for this character. Alright, that's fine. That's the only thing that I'm kind of not a fan of, is some of the stuff in this game doesn't, um, isn't account bound, it's character bound. So certain, like, outfits and items that I've obtained on my main character, I can't give to this character without a lot of difficulty. Which is really annoying. Anyway, combat two. This game is an MMO, so the combat works like this. I wait for attacks, I press the attack, and attacks happen. In the event that multiple solo players attack the same target, the player who attacks first will always receive 100% of the experience, and items drops are dropped. Uh, the player who followed will be rewarded, rewarded based on contribution, which is pretty good. It's good. Seems like a good system. An item you have equipped now bound to you can no longer be traded, and, and can no longer be traded or put up for sale in the markets. I've never used the markets because it's not available on the free trial, unfortunately. Most items can be sold and traded freely before they are used in battle. Yeah, okay. <laughs> then I can do this, which is a combo, apparently. Which is what the highlights around my X attack known as Riot Blade is. So I hold down the right trigger if you're wondering what I'm doing, and then I will just tap B. I can also auto attack, but to use my actual abilities, I need to tap um, the buttons. Then I can use Fight Off Light, and then I can use Riot Blade. Hell yeah. It's a B! It's a B, a Mario! Uh, okay, two more of these. Da, 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 da. 
Da -na -na -na. Sounds like the James. Uh, James. Wait, is it James? No, Mission Impossible. Which one is it? Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. Da -na also, kind of sounds like um, Fortunate Son. <laughs> It ain't me! It ain't me! I don't know what it is! Uh, and the other stuff is over here. You know what? The old uh, dispatch yard is over here as well, so I might as well do uh, both of them. Two birds, one stone. Why not? Why not? I am going to be trying to keep these episodes to maybe like an hour to two hours or something like that. Um, because I feel like 30 minute episodes might make this series take 900 years to actually get through. So... And that's if I get through it. I'm not promising that I will uh, play this all the way through to the finish with every single expansion and stuff because this is going to be a huge undertaking. So it might be something that I come back to every now and then, but I don't know. For now though, I'm enjoying this a lot, so I will keep this going for the time being. Hiya! Hiya! Alright, cool. Hi, Papa Shan. You're not, there's a lot of Lala fell in uh, old art, it seems. Well, you certainly look the part of an adventure, my friend. Might you be the good soul Mambodi advised me to expect then? I am Papa Shango, the wrestler, station master of this humble dispatch yard. An empty title, I assure you. The stuffing in it is like an Easter egg, but it's still filled with chocolate, goddammit. I'm, I'm truly no more than a tired old Lala fell passing his final years in quiet and solitude. Twelve know there have been plenty of both these... What? These last five years since the Calamity struck? The Calamity Ganon, that is. The devastation... ...was vast. I've seen some shit. Shit you wouldn't believe. Yet now, true old dons work together, doing all in our power to rebuild what was laid to ruin. By the sweat of our brows and the love of our home, we have rebuilt Uldar to the grand- uh, to the grandeur and majesty that you have- that you see today. The railways which run through this dispatch yard, too, were born of the noble efforts of a great many souls. Dark souls, that is. But there is still much work to be done. The wounds left by the calamity run deep. Isolated areas beyond our lines of supply remain- what the fuck was that? I just heard like a futuristic like or something. The fuck? Our lines of supply remain, and there are places yet wanting for relief and restoration. Restoration unknown. Although I needs the aid of you and, and uh, your brethren, friend. Me wondering where my fucking brethren are. Brethren? Anyone? In fact, never has our need been more dire. Which brings me to the point, I suppose. I do believe I may have some work suited to one of your ability. Um, that's for all classes, but that gives me better stats. I'm probably just going to go for item level law, which has the better stats, because I don't really know what I'm doing with this loot system, I'm not going to lie. Oh, they're boots. Right. Then why to update? All right, cool. At least it still matched my outfit. That's nice. I get a, a new sword for this. Gladiator's arm. That's a sword, silly. <laughs> Anyway, since you've come all this way, perhaps you can perform an errand for me. Just so happens a number of sentries have been sent to guard the area. A dispatch to the dispatch yard, as it were. They've long been away from the shade and feather beds of the city. The hot days and cold nights can play hell on hells on the mind and body out there. Out here, it isn't much, but go and give them these twilight pretzels from the game Legend of Zelda Twilight Pr Princess, would you? Or the movie Twilight. Maybe these pretzels sparkle. I find comfort food always helps when I feel like killing Like doing what now? Yo, has anybody checked on Papa Shan? Has, any, has, has, has anybody checked on Papa Shan? Are you okay? What the fuck? <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Hi, Renji, Re Renji Jamura. I'm gonna, uh, check in on Papa Shan every now and then, I guess. This guy, I think he's just the base, uh, character that we started with before I customized them, but whatever. Anyway, um, this way. I'm, I was actually gonna go and turn in the other quest, but I figured, you know what? This is like, I'm auto running. Oops. I caught left bumper. I was wondering why my movement felt a bit stiff and weird. Like my... Anyway. Serious Sultan's one. 
I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize they were doing that. I thought they had a helmet on their hand and they were just like, look over there. <laughs> Halt, sir! I'm going to have to ask you to put to, put the pretzel on the ground, place your hands above your head. It is a weapon. There you go. State your name and business! A twilight pretzel from Papa Shan? By the gods, forgive me. You could say this new post has my nerves and my knickers in a twist. I'm terribly sorry about that, and <clears throat> yes. Well, you may rest assured that the dispatch yard is safe so long as I stand watch with the helmet on my hand. Please give Papa Sham my facts. Tell him that I only wish I could repay the flavor. I mean favor. Oh, I have to do multiple. Well, you know what? I kind of need to wrap up this episode. So, I'll come back to this in the next episode. I'm going to do this, because this will get me back to Tyron quickly. Because, otherwise, teleporting normally anywhere else actually costs money in this game. Not real life money, but, um, currency. That you'll see in the bottom right, the very bottom right of my screen. By the way, feel free to let me know um, if you want me to make any of the HUD, HUD elements, elements bigger or smaller. If you feel like maybe there are, something's a bit too small and you can't see what's going on, then uh, I'll make it bigger. I do not mind. Uh, where am I going again? Actually, I should have. Uh, I shouldn't have gone this way. I should have uh, teleported from the crystal. Do 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 do. I do need to attune to the rest of the crystals at some point as well. But that's uh, a thing to do for another time. Da, da. All right. Welcome back, Ocean. I take it you dispatched the beasts with ease. Rest assured there will be far greater challenges to come. Yes, please. I mean, oh, it wasn't an op- Oh, okay. If you wish to master the sword, you must test yourself against a wide variety of foes. To this to this end, I present to you this hunting log. It contains information on creatures ideal for a gladiator in training. You will doubtless gain valuable experience should you seek out and slay them. It is only with such practice that you will recognize and eliminate the deficiencies in your technique. Your training on me shall continue once the haft sits so snugly in your hand that you cannot imagine holding aught else until then, Ocean. The next gladiator quest will be at level 5. Well, I'm level 6, so that's good. I will undertake that in the next episode, though. Um, you can use items using commands and stuff. And the hunting log is a record of completion of tasks involving slaying certain car uh, certain creatures, I mean. And you get a... They are for specific classes. Um, and you can see the display name on them. Uh, targets indicated on your hunting log will have a special... I actually did not know that, because I've actually not done anything with the hunting log. Like I said, I've literally just been powering through quests without actually looking at what the story was about. And just leveling, I guess. Kind of wild. And doing the odd dungeon and uh, a few alliance raids that I had to do, which are uh, fucking crazy, by the way. Oh, wait, I was going to do that in the next episode, wasn't I? Um, did I get a new sword for... No, I didn't. Okay, never mind. So I'm just checking all my, uh, I can't remember if I got any loot for anything else. Alright, cool. So I'm going to end the episode here. So, let me know what you think about Final Fantasy XIV online, um, or A Realm Reborn, as it's, as, uh, this current segment is called. I will be, if I do manage to get it for expansions, I'll have the Final Fantasy XIV, like, logo, as you can see on the thumbnail. But I will have the specific, um, expansion name so you know exactly what I'm doing or where I'm up to. Um, I just figure it's the best way to do things in this uh, series. Anyway, let me know what you think about this series in the comment section. Uh, series or game, shall I say, in the comment section down below. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you. Hopefully, I'll see you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a mess. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Pip, pip, toodaloo!